an example. Find the solution of this function uh, with this uh, problem statement. This is asking you to find the solution which is satisfied with these two boundary conditions. So. Okay, now we are going to Consider whether the fx on the right hand side is a function in the UC basic function. You have two functions. The first one is exponential of minus x and the second one is the function of sine 2x. Is this one? Begin with a uh, special function for the undetermined coefficient method. Yes, it is, right? It is an exponential. For exponential, a could be any number, can be positive or negative. How about sine 2x? Yes. It is fitting with the uh, number 3, right? This is 2 and this is 3. So, this one, because this is a homogeneous differential equation, so your solution is combined with yc and yp. To find yc, you got to write down the characteristic equation. What is the characteristic equation of this differential equation? m squared plus 2m plus 5 equal to 0. You got to find the roots of m. You know that this one you cannot um, make it into two terms, right? Because five, you can find any number in order to get two m, right? For this one, you got to use the formula. The formula is saying that m is equal to minus b plus minus square b square minus 4ab divided by 2a. Okay. So we would get something like this. Square root 4 minus 20 is equal to minus 16. Square root minus 16 is equal to 4i. So now we have two here and two there, so you take two out. When you take two out inside, you would get minus one plus minus two i, and then you divide it by two, two and two cancel out. So you would get m is equal to minus one plus minus two i. Case one. The value of m, the, the root of m is, uh, yes, it's case three. It's a complex number with its conjugation. So, what would be your yc then? Exponential of minus x eh? and times c1 cos 2x plus c2 times sine 2x. Now, we are going to find yc. Okay. Our yp, you have the first function is exponential of minus 1 and the, um, the uc set of exponential of minus 1 is exponential of minus 1, right? Because no matter how many times you do the derivative of f1, you would get only one function, which is exponential of minus x. Function 2 is size 2x. When you do the derivative of psi, you would get cos. The derivative of cos, you would get sine. So it has only two functions, which is psi 2x and cos 2x. And then you do union for these two, then you would get your uc set of your fx. And then the next step is just that look whether the function in here repeated with the function in there. 
Is this repeated or is this the same? Is this repeated or is it the same? Y C and the function inside we see that. Do we have to times x or not? Hmm? Do we need to, to times x to our L? Huh? Do we? Is it the function here and function there is it the same? Which one is the same? But this exponential is time with cos x. So the function, the real function of yc is exponential of minus x cos 2x and exponential of minus x times 2x. But this one you have exponential of minus x. You have cos um, times 2x and cos 2x. Any function here the same as function there? The same or different? They're all different. If you say that it's the same, that means exponential of minus x times cos 2x is the same as exponential of minus x. Is it the same? This one and this one? Is it the same function? Is this function and this function are the same function. It's different. Right? Maybe you can look at the x and see if x is equal to 1. If this function is equal to 1, then x is equal to 1. Then x is equal to 1. If it's the same function, then x is equal to 1. But you can see the same function. เพราะมันเป็นโคลฟังชันนะคะฉะนั้นคุณจะบอกว่าตัวนี้กับตัวนี้นะตัวนี้กับตัวนี้หน้าตาเหมือนกันก็ไม่เหมือนตัวนี้คือฟังชัน e x p o n e n t i a l คูณ sin ตัวนี้ sin อย่างเดียวตัวนี้ e x p o n e n t i a l คูณ cos ตัวนี้ cos อย่างเดียวตัวนี้ e x p o n e n t i a l อย่างเดียวฉะนั้นฟังชันในนี้ไม่มีตัวไหนซ้ํากับนี่เลยนะคะ now because those are not the same the function in as and the function in y, c are not the same. So what should we do next? We can assume y, p, right? y, p is equal to a1 times exponential of minus x plus a2 times psi x plus a3 times cos 2x. And then we are going to plug y into our differential equation. We got to do the first and second derivative of this function. Okay. Yp, the first derivative of yp, what do you get? Minus a1 times exponential of minus x. How about the second term, what do you get? 2, uh, 2a2 two cos Two x minus two a three times two x. Yep. When you do the derivative, you would get this one. How about second derivative? If you do it, differential of this term, what do you get? A one times exponential of minus one. Minus 4 a2 psi 2x and minus 4 a3 cos 2x. And then after you got this whole term, you just plug it back into its differential equation. So you would get this. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the exponential term, you have a1 minus 2a1 plus 5a1. What do you get? 5 plus 1 equals to 6. 6 minus 2 equals to 4. 
So you've got 4a1 times exponential of minus x. Right? And then you take a look at size 2x. You have minus 4a2 size 2x here. And then you have minus 4a3 size 2x. And then you have 5a2. 5a2 minus 4a2 is equal to a2. So you've got a2 minus 4a3 times 2x. For cos 2x, you have cos 2x here and there. This one is minus 4a3 cos 2x and plus 4a2 cos 2x and 5a3 cos 2x. 5a3 minus 4a3 is equal to a3. So you've got a3 plus 4a2 cos 2x. And then you rearrange your function on your left hand side and right hand side. Your right hand side you have exponential of minus x, you have sine 2x, but you don't have cos 2x. But actually you have. But only that zero is times your cos 2x, so that's why you didn't write it that. So I just put it there in order to compare the coefficients. So from this, I would get, if you take a look at the term of exponential of minus x, you would get 4a1 is equal to, 4a1 is equal to 8. So you can find a1, right? 4a1 equal to 8, so a1 equal to 2. The second one, if you take a look at size 2x, you would get what? If you take a look at size 2x, you would get what? 2a2 minus 4a3 equal to, equal to, equal to what? 17. And then if you take a look at cos 2x, a3 plus 4a2 equal to 0. Now you know a1, that's it. And these two equations, you have a2 and a3. Two equations, two unknown. Can you find the value of it? Yes, if you want to find a3, you find 4 to the equation 1. If you want to find a2, you times 4 to the equation 2. So for me, I want to find a2 first. So I set that 4 times equation 2, I would get 16a2 plus 4a3 equal to 0. Now equation 1 and equation 3, if I do plus, then a3 will be gone. So I would get 17a2 equal to 17. So now my a2 is equal to 1. Now, you know the value of 1. You can put a2 equal to 1 into either equation 1 or equation 2 is 5. Then you would get a3. So we say that from that, we've got a3 is equal to minus 4. And then that's it. We get yp. So our yp is equal to 2 times exponential of minus x plus sine 2x minus 4 cos 2x. And our y is equal to yc plus yp.